Welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue with the Gmail widget not working on iPhone. Basically, you may have added the widget to your lock screen or your home screen and it is not displaying the proper information. Maybe it displays a little bit of it, but not displaying the emails or any additional information that you have selected from that widget. You can see on this one here, it says choose an account to get your latest email updates. And I've already have an account set up and it's just not working. So this is a screenshot from earlier when I was having that problem. And then you can see right now, this is what is displaying currently, which is my most recent email. So I'm going to show you how I was able to resolve that issue. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is at the very least, we want to go ahead and delete the widget by long pressing on it, removing it, and then adding it back. Okay. And we add it back by pressing anywhere on the screen and then tapping the edit button up here and then adding widget and looking for that Gmail widget. Okay. If that does not work and you've already done that, then I'm going to show you the next steps that I proceeded to do so that I could correct the situation. So you want to go ahead and open settings on your iPhone. And then what you want to go ahead and do is from the main settings screen, you want to go ahead and go all the way down to the app for Gmail. Now I'm running iOS 18. So yours might be a little different. You're going to actually look for the app on the main screen. Mine, you have to go ahead and tap on apps here. And then you want to go ahead and look for Gmail. So this is if you're running iOS 18 or up. And then you go ahead and tap on Gmail. And then inside the Gmail settings, you want to make sure that you have your background app refresh on. And then you also want to check the notifications and make sure that these are all toggled on and that you have all these no, uh, notification settings on because that could mess things up with that widget. Okay. And then once you have checked that and everything looks good to go, then you're going to go ahead and back out and you are going to go ahead and go back to the main settings screen here. And you're going to go ahead and go to the general section. So it's just a little ways down the screen. Once you tap on general, then you're going to go ahead and go to iPhone storage. Once you go to iPhone storage, go ahead and find that Gmail app. Okay. And then go ahead and tap on it. And you're going to see the option to offload app. Now offloading the app does not delete all your personal information on your Gmail account. It just uninstalls the main core files for the app. And then you can reinstall them after. So go ahead and tap on offload app and you can get this little pop up here to go ahead and proceed. And then once you offload that app, you're going to have the option to reinstall that app. Go ahead and select reinstall app. And you're just going to wait a little bit as it reinstalls that app on your iPhone. Now, once you're done with this process, and we're just going to wait here just a second because it doesn't take that long. Once you're done with this process, you're going to go right back to your lock screen or your home screen. And then you are going to see if that widget is still there that you added from before. You're then going to want to go ahead and delete that widget and then add that widget back. Okay. So once it's, once you see this screen right here and you're good to go and it's installed again, go ahead and go back to the main screen where you want the widget. And you might see something like this right here where it's trying to show something, but it's not showing everything as you can see. So you're going to just go ahead and long press and you're going to remove that widget. Okay. And once you remove it, go ahead and long press again to add another widget. You're going to add that Gmail widget back. And I'm going to show you right here. We select Gmail. And then we can go ahead and choose this one, or I'm going to choose this one right here. We add that widget. And now you can see it is displaying all that information for Gmail. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If so, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.